The Collins class attack submarines were the first submarines manufactured in Australia. The replacement for the much beloved Oberon class boats, which had served the Royal Australian Navy from 1969 until the final boat, HMAS Ottima, was decommissioned in 2000. The Collins is a class of six diesel electric attack submarines manufactured in Adelaide, Australia, by the Australian Submarine Corporation. The construction of a naval vessel as sophisticated as Collins by the fledgling Australian shipbuilding industry was a great achievement, although the program was delayed by two to four years depending on the individual hull. The six boats are Collins, Farncombe, Waller, Deschenux, Sheehan and Rankin. The construction of HMAS Collins began in 1990 and the final boat, Rankin, was commissioned in 2003. Each boat is 77 metres long, displaces 3,100 tonnes while surfaced, and has a crew of 58. The six Collins class boats are some of the largest, indeed at their construction they were the largest and most capable conventional submarines in the world. They displace over 3,400 tonnes while submerged, almost double the typical 2,000 tonnes of most conventional submarines. This size gives Collins several major advantages. The first is its over 11,000 nautical mile range and 90 day endurance. Collins can deploy on station, 2,500 nautical miles away from home base, and then patrol for seven weeks. The Collins large size also allows for exceptionally large batteries and diesel generation capacity. Collins has 4.2 megawatts of installed generators. This allows for a top speed in excess of 24 knots, as reported in an Australian parliamentary committee, making them some of the fastest conventional submarines ever built. But more importantly, this huge power storage and generation capacity gives Collins exceptional submerged performance. Most diesel electric submarines have to snorkel for extended periods to recharge their batteries by running their diesel generators, during which time they are both noisy and vulnerable. But Collins has such a large electricity generation capacity that she only needs to snorkel for approximately two to three minutes every 24 hours, drastically increasing her stealth by reducing this indiscretion ratio. Because this vulnerable time is so short, Collins can stay in contested areas to snorkel, which makes her performance much more comparable to a nuclear submarine. Collins' submerged performance is so good that two separate air-independent propulsion technologies were tested in the late 1990s, including a Stirling AIP system, and found not to be worth introducing. In essence, these AIP systems, which rely on a reasonably limited amount of oxidizer to run, offered such a minimal increase in submerged performance that the cost and weight of the system was deemed to be counterproductive. This is an indication of just how good Collins's submerged endurance is. The Collins class boats are also exceptionally stealthy. Not only is electric propulsion inherently quiet, but the whole interior of the boat is separated from the hull by vibration absorbent fittings and the hull is coated with anechoic tiles. When operating at a patrol quiet speed of three knots, the Collins class have been measured to be quieter than the background ocean noise. The fundamental design, the Swedish Type 417, which is the basis for Collins, is known to be very stealthy and unique Australian signature reduction technologies have only reduced the amount of noise Collins emits further. These boats are equipped with the very capable Mark 48 Seabass Torpedo. The Mark 48, especially the modern ADCAP variant, is a deadly, long-range, heavyweight torpedo, which is very capable at engaging both ships and submarines at a range in excess of 50 kilometers. These torpedoes are like small submarines, with their own active and passive sonar systems that can search for targets independently or be guided by a thin wire which is connected to the launch platform. The most modern variant, the Common Broadband Advanced Sonar System, or CBAS, was jointly developed by the Royal Australian Navy and United States Navy. By increasing the range of frequencies the CBAS torpedoes use, they are much more resilient to countermeasures like decoys and noisemakers. The Collins class are also equipped with Harpoon sea skimming anti-ship missiles. They have storage for up to 22 torpedoes and missiles, or, alternatively, 44 stonefish mines. The Collins class have six forward torpedo tubes, giving them a devastating broadside if they can come within range of an enemy task force. These weapons are controlled by the AN-BYG-1 combat system, which is also used on the Virginia class submarine. The BYG-1 takes information from the submarine sensors, such as the bow hydrophones or passive array, the low frequency flank array or the towed array sonar, 
and generates a coherent picture of the ocean around Collins. It can then be used to guide multiple torpedoes and engage multiple targets simultaneously. The combination of these weapons, sensors, combat system, submerged performance and stealth make the Collins class one of the most capable conventional submarines ever built. This capability was displayed by HMAS Waller in several large-scale naval exercises with the US Navy. In Exercise RIMPAC 2000, Waller sank two US Navy submarines and almost achieved a firing solution on the USS Abraham Lincoln. In Exercise Tandem Thrust 2001, Waller penetrated the USN's defences and sank two amphibious assault ships. Vice Admiral James Metzger, the commander of the US 7th Fleet, described the Collins class as a very capable and quiet submarine that would challenge any naval force in the world today. There were, however, substantial issues with the availability and sustainment of the Collins class. Throughout the first decade of this century, their availability rate was very low, often with only one boat available out of the six. Breakdowns were common, and the repair time was often far too long. This problem was caused by both a lack of spares and a skill shortage at the Australian Submarine Corporation. Additionally, throughout the mining boom, the Navy lacked the crews to effectively man six boats. In 2011, an independent inquiry into the Collins class program, headed by John Coles, was scathing, recommending extensive reforms to the Australian Submarine Corporation. However, by 2016, Coles concluded that the program as a whole had achieved a remarkable turnaround, as both the ASC and Collins were now not only meeting international benchmarks for sustainment and availability, but surpassing them. Additionally, the crew shortage has, effectively, now been rectified, as the abnormal conditions in the domestic labour market have abated. The six Collins class submarines will be replaced by the 12 boat attack class, which is a conventional derivative of the French Barracuda class nuclear attack submarine. Construction of HMAS attack is set to begin in 2024, and the Royal Australian Navy is expecting her commissioning sometime in the early 2030s. With the delivery of a single submarine every two years, the Collins class are expected to remain in service until at least 2040, at which point these boats will have served Australia for some four decades. Although they will require substantial upgrades to remain relevant, the inherent stealth and submerged performance of the Collins class boats will ensure that they remain one of the most deadly conventional submarines prowling the world's oceans for decades to come.